Hey Queens, so it's Ashley checking back in with the Crown of Beauty channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved my very first wash and go on my own and you can see the results here. So stay tuned for how I achieved this look. So I just decided to come on camera to finish up my dry wash and go. So I will insert a clip of my uh, wash and go and cut that I got from uh, this natural hair salon in Atlanta called Curls Unlimited. And she cut my hair a little bit just so that it, when it a wash and go sets, that it you know looks healthy, looks like a nice cut. So, I've been trying to recreate this style for the past week since I've got that done because I want to be able to do it on my own. So, I've been watching YouTube videos all day and I feel like I'm getting some good results from this technique that I'm using. So, I just wanted to come on camera and show you guys my little experiment and because of the way that I'm doing it on not soaking wet hair, I don't have to sit under the dryer. First off, on my dry, kinky hair, I'm just kind of finger detangling, just breaking apart the hair a little bit with my fingers. But it's very, very, very dry right now. So, first thing I want to do, I got my spray bottle. The water helps give it a little bit of slip before I put the product on, so I'm just making sure that the water has saturated the whole section of hair. From root all the way down to the ends. Then just for a little bit of extra slip and added moisture, I'm going to use this Infusium 23 leave-in conditioner. And I used this before on my transitioning to natural journey, so it was really cool to uh, revisit this product that the hairstylist gave me a sample of. I'll probably go to the hair store and get a bigger bottle, because I like it. Um, instantly, my hair feels a lot softer, giving it a little bit more added slip, like I mentioned. And as you notice, with this technique, I'm just kind of smoothing it down, every product that I put in my hair. Just going to take about this much of, of a moisturizer or a styler. Today I'm using Oyen Handmade Boing. It's an all-in-one coil styler. Define and moisturize in one step. But I feel like you could uh, use other products with this too. But I just need uh, some moisture. My hair is so dry. So again... I kind of focus that at the top and then I'll get another little bit and put it right here at the bottom. See how the hair is already looking a lot more moisturized. And I'm smoothing it, <clears throat> smoothing the product down. Now I'm going to take a little bit of oil. I'm kind of out of my oils that I know work for my hair so I'm trying this Moisture Love Seal with a Kiss finishing oil but it's been working pretty good for this wash and go but again you can substitute the, the oil <clears throat> and I'm using the oil to seal in that moisture that I just put in my hair and it's so soft right now now what I'm going to do sorry my brush has hair in it but this is just a $3 brush I picked up at the hair store. It's got these plastic bristles on it to kind of just help me detangle and smooth each small section. So that's the first thing I do, starting from the ends. Get in there, really detangle. Make sure it's smooth and all out. Now I've got all those products in, I'm going to go back in with my denim brush, smooth it out even more. That's the key is to make sure that it is 
smooth. Eco Styler, the olive oil uh, one. This is the maximum hold, so I, I like using this one. I did experiment with the, I mean the Eco Styler black castor oil and flaxseed, but this one has a much more stronger hold and helps with the definition that I'm trying to train my hair to do. So starting at the roots, put that gel on there, honey. <laughs> Get the other side too, still at the roots, so you can feel it. Now, in a painting motion, you're just gonna keep applying that gel down the hair shaft. I'm smoothing it as I go. Keep it going to the end. I kind of just like hold it top right here just to really focus on the ends. You can use the Denman again if you want to. Because the Denman really helps make those curls pop. But you don't really have to do that step. You're just smoothing it. The curls are coming, girl. I'm holding it tight. Remember, because I started at the roots, so I'm just making sure all the product coats every single strand that I'm working with. Now I'm going to um, keep holding it tightly, and at the roots, I'm going to start shingling. This method has worked the best for me. Um, you see those curls starting to form? Yes! Just keep shingling. If you need to add more gel, add it. Just kind of break the curls apart. So they won't clump together. So you have that. Something like that. And then it's going to dry. Because it, like I said, it's a little damp. The front half of my hair is always a little bit uh, wavier instead of curly, so it's a little longer. And I'm going to keep it open. I'll be back with the last section, but you see the difference? This is the last section. Alright, let's get swept. So, the water to wake up the hair, kind of refresh the strands. Make sure it's saturated all the way down. I'm taking the liquid leave-in conditioner. This whole process has probably taken me like 45 minutes because my hair was so dry and matted. So. Now that's in there, I'm going to take some moisturizer. I'm smoothing. Everything I'm doing, I'm smoothing. Every strand is getting some love. So I'm going to use this brush to kind of detangle. Because you want to work with a smooth section. Now I'm going to put the oil. I'm going to go ahead and use the Denman. Now you're going to take your gel. I'm just coating all three of these fingers here. I'm going to get the roots. Paint it down. Get those ends. Look at that. Don't be afraid of that gel, ladies. So, my hands are so tired. Because <laughs> we got to pull it tight to get it right. I'm 
I'm Shindel the baby. If you see any white residue, it will dry. Cause like I said, the hair is not soaking wet. So I'm not going to touch it too much cause I want the curls to set in. And after they set in, then I kind of fluff it, give me some more volume, some more length. Because the shrinkage is real, but that's okay. I put my part right here. You can put your part in the middle, wherever it don't matter. I'm probably put some edge control right here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it looks very hydrated, very juicy and moisturizing. And that's what I was going for. I had been trying several different combinations of products and haven't really found something I love. Like even this, I really like it, but I feel like I still haven't found my staple products, but I'm getting closer. So I'm really excited because I never thought that I would be able to do a wash and go. I've always done braid outs, twist outs, three strand twists, band two knots. I was that girl. So I would wash my hair, immediately style it into my twist or braids, and then go to sleep, let it air dry, and have a pop and braid out. But what I want to start doing is just be able to wash and go because this look here, um, usually only if my hair is soaking wet, it probably only takes about 30 minutes on dry hair like I did today for this wash and go, probably only 45 minutes and then I'm just letting it dry. I don't see any white flakes or anything, so I would say this is a success. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as you go through this hair journey with me in all of my experiments. <laughs> Have a good one, queens.